hey guys it's daps here welcome to my youtube channel i'm super excited to share another video with you and in this video i want to show you how you can use sciotech web copy to include any website online for offline viewing or for you to upload back to a live server so if you're interested in this and you're excited to learn how this work let's get started into the tutorials immediately <laughs> Just in case you are new to Celtech, Celtech is a web copy software that will help you clone any website online for offline viewing and you can as well upload this cloned website to any live server. I will show you exactly how to do that in this tutorial. Uh, in case you don't have Celtech installed into you in your computer already, for you to download Celtech is very easy. Just come to your browser, type Celtech web copy and then search. You will see quite a number of options, but definitely the first option here, Celtech, is what you should be looking at. And then when you come to downloads, so when you come down here, you will see Celtech Web Copy. You can download this uh, file into your this application into your computer, and then once you download it, you can run it like any other normal software. And if you do, you should have an interface like this. This is exactly what it will look like if you have installed Celtech Web Copy into your computer. So there are quite a number of things that you can do with this software, but I don't want to bother around that in this tutorial. I just want to show you exactly how you can clone a website with this software. So right now, what we want to do right now is to get the URL we want to clone. So I can just literally come back to my browser. So this is the URL here. Uh, I would copy this. And then I can paste this back here. So once this is done, the next thing is for you to choose a folder that you want to save. Uh, your cloned website so you can come you can click this here and this would open up uh, maybe your document or your downloads or wherever you want to download this so i can just literally choose to download this into my document and i can select uh, this folder and that's it that's exactly how to select a folder for your destination and you have two options here for you to scan this website first before you copy it or just copy it at once but let me show you exactly what the scan does so once you hit the scan button here so as you can see more like a sitemap so you can see this is a landing page here and it redirects to this and also to this so you can see this is very super light website is not an heavy one on the right hand here you can see some scan settings like your maximum depth uh, maximum pages that you want to scan uh, those things are things that you should mess around with if you know exactly what you're doing but you can leave this i don't like make messing around with this so if you come to your crawl mode you can see that you want to crawl just the site alone you have the option to also crop subdomains and even sibling domains and crawl everything that is connected to this website but that is not highly recommended as you can see so you want to download all the resources uh limit crawl dev this is not an elaborate tutorial so i don't want to touch all of these things uh you can learn more about that and you can let me know in the comment section in case you want me to do more tutorials around stuff like that but for you to clone this what you have to do is just hit this copy button you get a prompt here for you to save this uh folder in this directory you can just say yes so you can see the next thing here you can see that celtech web copy now is copying this website and this can take some time depending on your internet strength and also how heavy the website you're trying to clone is so you may want to give this some time to finish up good stuff you can see here our uh, website has been copied so uh this took approximately about nine minutes and we can also see the size of our website and that's it so what we can do now is for us to open our output folder and we can see we have our website here so that's it so we can just open this up open this up and then we'll have our index uh, which would be the link to our website so let's open this up so you can see we have the exact same cloned website here i have that now live now you can see the url here is in my laptop before i continue for that i want to let you know that this website right now has been cloned into an html website as a matter of fact i don't know uh, what platform this website is built on maybe it's an html website maybe it's um wordpress i i literally don't have an idea so i just want to let you know that you would need an html skill for you to be able to make necessary edits to this website 
Finally, what we can do is for us to see how we can upload this same website to a live server, just in case you want to do that. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I will be using Ostinga. Uh, if you come here, this is Ostinga. Ostinga is my recommended web hosting for starters, anyone who is trying to start a new project, something new. Also, anyone who is looking into a budget-friendly hosting, Ostinga is highly recommended. So, you can check the video description for you to see a link to come to Hosting Guys and Affiliate Link. As a matter of fact, if you use my link, you will qualify for up to about 80% off even using my coupon code so you can check those deal in the description below you'll be proud you did also appreciate you for the support if you can so right now let me just come to one of my web hosting plan that i have here okay so i'll be using this website dapsbrook.com i have this domain here and i literally have this website empty so i'll just come to files here i'll come to file manager so whatever c panel you are using is the same thing just search for file manager and open it up and then i would go directly to my file manager i have access to my public underscore html which is exactly where i want to go to so i would open this up as well so i have a default.php here which will be showing an hostinger page but i want to delete this and then what i want to do right now is for me to upload uh, the downloaded files back here but first off you want to ensure that you zip the folder that has been sent to you so coming back here to our downloaded website i can just literally come back to document and you can see this is the folder here but i have i have done well to uh zip this so i've sent it into a zip file so this zip file is exactly what we are going to be uploading to our server and uh, not necessarily because we need to upload the zip file we can upload the folder too as well but it will take more time so i will advise that you zip it upload it to the server and then unzip it on the server that will be faster so now i will just drag this into uh my public underscore html as we can see here this has already uploaded to our server immediately so right now i can right click and then i can extract this and then i can just give it a temporary folder name which is dabs okay so now we have dabs here i can open up Zap, dabs and then i can open this up as well so i already have uh my files here so now what i will do is for me to select all of them by doing uh control a and then i can right click and then i can move this file i will just come up come up until i am in the public underscore html directory and then i can move it there all right now that's fantastic so we have been able to move our core files into our public underscore html uh, you notice that if you come back to this live website you can see that we have several sub directories that is loading uh, this website so that's the same reason why for us to be able to load up this website we would need to ensure that we load the direct url to see the live website so this is what i mean so you can see that uh, on our public underscore html we have to go to this folder first and then come to this folder before we now have this so i'll copy this i would open up a, a new browser i'll do dabs brook and then I'll do slash. Uh, so you can see we have this website here loading directly. And it's that super simple, super easy to do. So just make sure that you put the direct URL where the index.html is. For yours, it may be that it is directly in the home page. Just load your domain directly. I believe that's super simple, super easy for you to do. Uh, so that's my time for this tutorial. If you find it very useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any issues, let me know in the comment section. I'll look out for them to help you as much as possible as I can. Also, do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any tutorials from me. That's my time. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.